Hello Cancer, how are you doing? Welcome into your weekend love reading from the 25th until the 26th of September. So I am going to be getting out the energies of you and your person and we're going to see what's going on. But this time I actually want to go in there and see what is the next moves going to be. What is the next steps going to be between you and them? So let's get started. While I am busy, I'm going to burn my herbal concoctions as I always do. I'm going to use these herbs to cleanse the area. I'm also signaling to your spirit guides to please come in because we are about to start your reading. Um, at the end of the reading, I'm also going to ask your spirit guides to please come in and give us the their, their take on what is going on here, give us their perspective, their, what they see as being important and maybe stuff that we don't know as well. So we're going to ask them to come in at the end of the reading, but they're going to show us now basically what's happening between you and your person. And I'm going to use the side for your person and the side for you. Remember, reverse that if you have to. If you feel like it's resonating more with you that side, you can do that. General reading, remember. Um, if you want to, if it resonates, I'll be so happy. Yay, hit the thumbs up button. Let me know. If it doesn't, check your rising sign, check your moon sign, check your Venus. Okay, so let's see your person's energy. Mm, believe in the impossible. Mm -hmm. Blue moon energy. Something very rare is happening to them. Something unexpected. Something that they didn't expect to happen. That's making them go, wow. Really? Okay. This is positive though. Let's see on your side. Nothing will come of the situation. What is going on in your reading? Void of course. Moon. Single Cancerians. Hello. It's for singles. Hello, single Cancerians. How are you? <laughs> I'm single too, don't worry, but I'm not Cancerian. <laughs> so uh, I know, I know, right? Um, you're single for whomever this reading is for. And you're going, I don't think I will ever meet anyone. I do that too, hey? I'm like, I'll be single for the rest of my life, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I feel like that's how you, you're vibing. I feel like you're going... I don't think I'll ever meet anyone. I don't think I'll ever find love again. If you have had love, I don't. I think I'll be an old, old person on my own. And it'll be me. I'll be like running around doing tarot reading somewhere. I mean, in, as an old person, I don't know. I have no idea. And um, yeah. I have no idea. And it's funny enough because I read tarot cards. I just can't read my, my own tarot cards. So I don't know. But um, yeah, I feel like you're going, I don't think I'm going to meet somebody. I don't think I'll ever be with somebody. Believe in the impossible because you are going to meet somebody. And not only, I think this person is going to be even surprised to meet you. Okay, it's going to come from both of your guys' directions. You might literally, your soulmate could literally be sitting out there somewhere in the world saying, I'm never going to meet anyone, just as you're saying. It usually happens like that. So let's see. Seven of Voices Energy, the truth is going to be revealed. The truth is going to be, this is in their energy. Okay, this person, I'm going to tell you exactly who they are. Well, not exactly. I'll give you their name and address. No, I'm kidding. Imagine that, hey. <laughs> um, the Seven of Voices energy tells me they have been in a connection before. Um, it was a hard one for them, okay? Because they had a cycle that was going on with somebody that was negative, okay? So they kept on, oh, oh. I'm going to give you two things. They were in a repetitive cycle in a relationship and eventually they broke it. They now not with anyone. They're working on healing themselves. Um, they, might even be, they might even be holding back from relationships because of what they experience. Or <laughs> this person chooses the wrong type over and over again. They keep choosing different people who are the same, you know, and they keep getting the same outcome. And now they literally holding back here with the four swords. They're not involved with anyone. They're working on their own energy. They're trying to figure out what's up with me. Why? They're learning something. They're going to figure something out here. Okay. They are in kind of like an, a learning time for their own emotional like evolution or like growth okay so let's see you you're stable look at that queen of materials hello and the knight of emotions there you are wondering 
am I ever gonna find love? The night you you're pretty strong right now. I'd say in life in general, whoever you are, um, you worked on yourself. You've been focusing mainly on work and stability. You've built quite a nice little life for yourself there. It's nice. It's good. It's strong. You know, um, but this is your question mark. You may have been meeting with people that are not wanting to settle down and that's what you value the most um you might have been meeting with people that are like player energies flirtation and nothing comes of it you see it's like you meet people and you're like okay all right i'm dating this person but they're dating like three other people as well you know and they're not taking it seriously or you meet people who flirt with you and they're just interested maybe in you know i don't know one night stands midnight booty calls i don't know okay and um that's why you're wondering will i ever really meet somebody that's not this you know so let's see there let's see what's coming next for the both of you because i can't say their next moves towards you because i still feel like you guys are going to meet i'm going to ask for guys when okay they they don't know if they want love hey they got the four of cups here so they are going to meet somebody and they're not going to be sure what to do next I feel like this is you. I feel like this is you. Really in their head. Really in the head. I feel like they're going to meet you and immediately there's an attraction towards you. They like you. Immediately. And then they go, now what? I told you there's a lot of things that they did here. I repeat it really over and over. And when you come in to their world, that's you. There's your cup. They sit there looking at those three cups, which is the cycles that I was telling you about really gets into their head so they may not be like i mean to be honest um they really really holding back from love right now so when they do meet you they're going to be a little bit like okay and now what do i do what do i do what do i do what if what if what if what if i feel this whole energy of them going what if this what if that what if this what if what if what if what if what if i get my heart broken again and i need to heal all over again and there's a lot of this thoughts going on in their mind okay when this happens relax <laughs> just get to know each other take it slow let them get to know who you are okay let's look on your side there's that hard work that you put into yourself this is what impresses them this is what they see when they meet you it's like your powerhouse of a person working on their their abilities their talents they you know they you've put so much hard work in already into your life that's what impresses them let's see i'm so curious ah they do see you they do see that you've been heartbroken. Look how you're, you're matching here. You've got a five of wands here, a five of cups there. It's so interesting how you guys are matching each other. I do feel they see you as having been really hurt as well. That mm, is what makes them see you in a different light. It's because you're serious about life, but you have been hurt as well. So they're going, okay, you've also had experiences that... You've been dealing with some really uncaring people in your past. And this is what makes them, I think, look at you differently. You know what I mean? So let's get some spirit guide advice here for you guys out. Let's see what they see. Show us spirit guides what is going on here. What needs to be looked at here? Six of Pentacles. You've got to look at what has been. And this is the part of the readings that I always get into this energy. I always ask spirit guides, show us what we need to see. And they're like, look at what has been because you have got to fix what has been so that you don't get the same thing in the future and the six of pentacles talks about literally for both of your guys energies it talks about the unbalance of situations that have been in your life the amount of stuff that you gave the energy that you gave the dedication that you gave and you never received it back both of you carry this you know what brings the two of you together joint experiences oh this is so good this time it's different. You've got a page of pentacles, new beginning. It's pentacles. It's what you value the most. <laughs> it's what you value the most. And this is going to start between the two of you. This is very nice energy. It's what you value the most. You value stability, commitment, dedication between you and somebody else. Not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just yeah for the you know i don't know i'm yeah as a decoration but i'm not even useful for anything um this is something very different seven of wands energy you're meeting this person very unexpectedly 
it throws the both of you off. Um, you're going to have emotions when you meet this person and they're going to have emotions as well. That's what I'm picking up on here. It's, you don't know this person. You're not going to know. It's not like you say, you know what? I'm going this weekend out with my friends or I'm going somewhere and I'm going to maybe meet this person. You meet this person where you do not expect to meet them. It's like unexpected meeting. And you meet this person, it throws the both of you completely off. <laughs> um, when you do meet each other, I feel like it throws you both off. Um, like you're not, and I just have to check the decks. Look what I saw under this deck. I was looking under the deck. I was like, a new start is coming. Oh, guys, I'm just saying, there's your page of pentacles. It is coming. And the thing is, you meet unexpectedly. There's absolute emotion attraction immediately between you and them there's a thing that happens it throws both of you off and it makes you kind of go oh boy what is going on here what do I do but there's still going to be movement forward I feel like they're still coming towards you even though they're scared and so are you so are you because of the experiences that you've had but this is a new start that's coming and there's a pentacle involved which means Oh my goodness, the beginning of a stable long-term connection. There we go. Thank you so much, Cancer, for coming into the reading. Wow, uh, if this is your reading, and even if, you know, especially if you're single and you came into this reading, you were literally guided by your spirit guides to come and see this. And even though you might be saying, I don't even know if this will ever happen, somebody might even comment and say, ah, Deborah, I don't know. I don't know if this will ever happen, really. And I'll be like, you know what? Trust sometimes your spirit, your spirit energy, what they see coming for you in the future. Because life is so unpredictable. You know, today we're here, tomorrow. I mean, five years ago, I'll tell you guys, I was um, in construction. <laughs> I had a business and I was in construction. We were building houses and I hated it. It was something that at that time I was married. It was something my husband and I were doing together. It was horrible. And because um, he was in this thing and I hey to de, 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 it just so much and i didn't know that a couple of years down the line i would be doing what i've always been doing i would be doing what's my heart and my soul and my energy and everything from the time i was little and um, i would be doing that i would never have believed it and i'm telling you it's the same for you <laughs> thank you so much for listening to that and i'm wishing you all the best going forward i'm sending my love in your direction bye